Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 136A interlocking mill finish threshold along with an, uh, a description of what a water pan is used for. So let's start at the beginning. First of all, the PEMCO number 136A, that part number, the 136 stands for the profile. It is a uh, interlocking threshold with a provision for a water return that is of these specific dimensions, which we'll go over that, both of those points in a moment. The A means mill aluminum finish. You can order this item in different uh, finishes as well, dark bronze, uh, gold, etc. Now, dimensionally, there is an image below this video showing everything important about it. It's four and seven eighths wide, as you can see from that image. And then it's one inch overall height. Okay. Now, this is an interlocking threshold. Here's what that means. This lip right here is important because it will work with the hook strip that's attached or nailed to the bottom of the door so it looks like this. I'll show you that here in a moment. So that hook strip is shaped like the letter J. Sometimes we call it a J strip. Or, or, or just a hook strip, and it gets nailed to the bottom of the door so that it looks like this. Now, the concept is that, well, there you go. It will interlock like that. So this strip is nailed to the bottom of the door, then as the door closes, it comes in contact with that lip and makes an incredibly positive, effective mechanical seal. That's how that works. Okay. It's going to look like that when everything is properly installed. Nails are included for the bottom of that hook strip to be nailed to the bottom of the door. Just typical, you know, it's a brad type of nail. Um, a little bit big to be called a brad nail, but it's, it's akin to a brad nail. Uh, interlocking thresholds like this are known to last decades and be extremely effective. You can't get much more of a positive seal than this, and I've personally seen these items, these thresholds and hook strip assemblies installed on doors that are decades old. Um, the only time you really have any problem with them is the hook strip can fatigue over time, but really what kills the hook strip is if the door is open and somebody leaves a shoe underneath there, you can damage it that way. You know, unintentional damage, they really don't fail or fatigue. Uh, but if people buy hook strips alone, it, that's really the, the point. Or a new door and they can't get the old hook strip off, that kind of situation. But these are very, hook strips themselves are very inexpensive. There's a variation on the hook strip that Pemco has, and that would be their L shaped hook strip, which um, I happen to have one here. It's not included, it's a different part number. It is the 66A. It's an L shape and you would surface mount that to the face of the door so that it would look like this, okay? Very effective. This, the, the, the J strip that gets nailed to the bottom of the door is far more common. Now what I like about this threshold is its water return principle. Here's what that means. You can see you've got a trough in here and this is gonna be uh, you know, the inside of the door or the inside of the opening. Door typically would swing this way. Any sort of water that would get into this trough is remediated by this hole that you see at the tip of my finger, drilled through the trough in this sort of angle. Then there's a notch right here. There's probably two or three of them. In the, there's two of them in the face of the threshold. That's called a water return. Any water that got in would drain into that hole and then out that weep hole is what that's called. Now, what is a water pan? Well, by, by extension of that concept of re remediating any water that gets underneath here, you don't want that water collecting on top of your sill, limestone, wood, whatever the case might be. Very thin gauge sheet uh, aluminum or brass can be bought and placed underneath so that it looks like that to help keep any water that gets underneath there from destroying your sill over time. That's 
it'll look like that, pretty much. You get the concept, I hope. Okay. Extra protection is really all that that is. However, in my opinion, given the cost of an aluminum water pan, it's very inexpensive insurance, and quite frankly, you can throw it out if you decide not to use it. Um, screws are included. Because of the height of the threshold, one inch, you'll have uh, you know, what looks like to be about two and a quarter inch number 10 flathead sheet metal, uh, wood screws um, available in several different lengths. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is if you had to take this 36 inch piece and cut it down to say 30 inch, you'd eliminate that countersink, you'd eliminate the weep hole that's in the front here, you'd be stuck filing that and drilling a new hole, you might get into trouble with the initial hole that's drilled in the trough. So if you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Uh, the next reasonable sort of question to be asked is what undercut do I allow? Well, if the overall height of this is one inch, you're going to need to be somewhere about an inch and an eighth total undercut so that you've got room for the threshold and room for your hook strip to fit in. Somewhere in that range is going to suit you really well. And I find this an incredibly effective sort of threshold uh, and would recommend that people use it at any time. Obviously, it's not handicap compliant, but you'd see this in a residential application where uh, code does not require handicap uh, requirement, uh, accessible openings uh, in, in most situations, I believe. Uh, Pemco is a full line manufacturer of all things weather stripping related, not only common residential type thresholds like this, but a comprehensive offering of commercial thresholds, uh, weather stripping, perimeter gasketing, door sweeps, material made of aluminum base like this, stainless steel, architectural bronze, and they also have a full line of aluminum continuous geared hinges as well. If you have any questions on the PEMCO number 136A, mill aluminum finish interlocking threshold, or any other PEMCO product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.